Hi everyone, I am Mika, and I'll be presenting our work, Point to Sill, Reverse Engineering 3D Objects from Point Clouds Through Extrusion Cylinders. This is a joint work between Stanford, KAIST, and Autodesk Research. Our everyday environments are filled with objects, fabricated following a carefully engineered computer-aided design. This makes reverse engineering from a raw geometry to a CAD model an essential task that enables manipulation of the 3D data in shape editing software. This expands their usages in many downstream applications. Before we can reverse engineer a 3D model, we first need to understand the CAD modeling process. At the user level, a CAD model is designed as a sequence of operations, where at each step, the designer first draws a planar 2D sketch as a closed curve and later extrudes it into a 3D solid, which we call an extrusion cylinder. These extrusion cylinders are then combined to a series of Boolean operations, step by step, which then results in the final model. Previous approaches either approach this by direct primitive fitting, which assumes a fixed and finite number of primitive types, in contrast to our extrusion cylinders, which are represented by arbitrary closed loops, or via a program-to-program autoencoder approach that is not geometry grounded as it never sees the raw input geometry. In contrast, our goal and contributions are as follows. We desire a geometry-aware approach for the reverse engineering task. Hence, we introduced a novel approach that casts 3D reconstruction as an extrusion cylinder decomposition problem, making it suitable for CAD modeling. We thus architect a neural network that learns the decomposition by predicting geometric proxies, which are used to estimate extrusion parameters in differentiable and closed form formulations. We now formally define the extrusion cylinder. Our neural network is trained to predict geometric proxies. The extrusion cylinder segmentation, per point normals, and base viral segmentation. Using these predictions, we then derive differentiable and closed form formulations for the extrusion cylinder parameters, namely extrusion axis, extrusion center, normalized sketch and its scale, and extrusion extent. Here's an overview of our approach. Given an input point cloud, we predict geometric proxies, which are used to derive and compute the, for the extrusion cylinder parameters for each extrusion cylinder segment. To obtain the closed-loop sketches, we represent them as learned 2D implicits. This is done for all predicted segments, hence obtaining our output set of extrusion cylinders. We now detail the derivation for the axis and the method for the sketches. In order to derive the extrusion axis from the predicted segmentation and normals for each extrusion cylinder, we make the following observations. The normals of the barrel points are perpendicular to the extrusion axis which implies that we want to find EK such that the dot product of all the normals corresponding to the barrel points and EK is zero. Concatenating all such normals to a matrix X implies that XEK equals zero. This also implies that we want to minimize EK transpose X transpose XEK. Similarly, for the base points, we know that the normals are parallel to the desired extrusion axis. Hence, concatenating all such normals to a matrix Y, we equivalently want to maximize the following expression. This is equivalent to maximizing the difference as shown. Therefore, the desired extrusion axis EK is equivalent to finding the eigenvector corresponding to the smallest eigenvalue of X transpose X minus Y transpose Y. For sketches, we project all barrel points for each segment onto the 2D sketch plane using the corresponding derived extrusion axis. The 2D projected point cloud is then fed to an implicit network similar to IGR and the sketch loop is then obtained by taking the zero level set of the output implicit. This representation allows us to handle arbitrary primitives as it can represent any closed loop. More details of our approach are found in the full paper. We now show some results. Given an input point cloud, our point to sill predicts its decomposition, which are then used to derive the corresponding set of extrusion cylinders, and are finally used to reconstruct the input to a CAD model. This representation allows for editing and variation creation. Moreover, our output can be imported to existing CAD software, such as Fusion 360 for further designs, such as creating chamfers and fillets. Here are more results on the Fusion Gallery dataset showing our predicted segmentation, extrusion cylinders, and the reverse engineered CAD model. We also show results on the DeepCAD dataset highlighting that our geometry-aware approach outputs better and more consistent models compared to the existing works. Experiments also show that our approach beats both learned and traditional baselines in both datasets. Please refer to the paper for detailed quantitative evaluations. Thank you.